So we're going to draw this kitty. Just want to get that nice swoop of that back first. That's what kind of appealed to me in this picture. Just the nice flowing lines. What I really like is how you can see that little bit of fur that's pulled out where Kitty's licking. Get that head in. A snout. Sometimes it takes me a couple of tries to place things. Gotta move things over. That's why I like to keep this stage nice and light. So there's lots of room for correction when I need to. Just feeling things out. I like to put a little oval for the ear now. I never used to do that, but I put the oval and then I work around that. It helps me place it easier. Just tighten up a little bit here to get the features in the right places. Get the shape of the head right, because that is the part that you know has to be more convincing, because we can't hide it with fur or anything. That mouth line lines right up with the bottom of the ear, hey. Darken up some of the lines now. And I just want to keep that that fluffy look. All those nice suggestions of hair. And we'll squeak a little eye in there. Just want to really show off that little bit of fur that the kitty's licking out. Needing a nose in there. That's better. Be really careful around here. So you can just see that tongue pulling that bit of hair out. That area needs a bit of work yet. It'll come. Just suggestions of hair here and there. And if you noticed, I know it was quick, but the photo, when I showed you the whole photo right at the beginning, the tail is definitely not shaped the way I've made it. But the thing is, you can play with tails, and I wanted the tail to bring the viewer's eye back around to the cat's face. So I put a nice little curl up there. Tails are kind of like clouds in landscape paintings. You have some room to play with them. Okay, now I've sped it up really fast and we'll finish up this drawing. I think I got it 20 times the speed right now. So thank you so much for watching. Drop me a comment just to say hi and we'll see you next time.